Well, we're headed back to the bay. Imagine there's some looters already here looting. I know at least one I think is here. Well, we hit another goal today, finally. We tipped the scales at 189 this morning. The last time our goal was 198. That was in July. It's taken from the middle of July till the first day of October to get to 189. That's 10 pounds. I can tell you that has been a struggle. I have been 190, 191, 192 for, well, since the, I guess the first of, second week in August. Stand by, my leader's right here. From about sometime in August, I got to 190, 192, 193. Then I finally got to, in September, I got to the 190, 191, 190. I've been in 190, 191 for five, four weeks, four or five weeks. Let's, let's put it that way. But today I broke the barrier 189. 20 more pounds to go by December the 26th or 27th. I think I might make it. 100 pounds. Stand by. Let me get to this gate there. We got some breeze just like it was yesterday. I don't think there's any change. Might be a little more breeze, but you know, it was workable yesterday. Anyway, I got uh, all of October, all of November, and almost all of December to lose 20 more pounds. Now, I've been cheating a little bit. You know, that's why I've been stuck at 190, 191 for so damn long. However, I'm going to try to do better for the next two months. We'll see how it goes. I see some people swimming. That's a good sign. Might be. I don't see no looters. I thought sure there'd be somebody here looting. It is rougher than I want to be. Uh, I think I'm going to go that way. I don't ever go that way. I always go this way. We'll see how it goes. Oh, it's cold. It's cold. Man, we got a nice drop off. But the tide's not low for three more hours. Stand by. say net big long net runs off the beach it's anchored right there you see it it runs off the beach way out that way it makes a turn to the left way out there. it makes like a s left hand turn and then sometimes the day they'll probably haul it in from the other end pull it to the shore this part stays stationary right here Finally gets tighter and tighter and tighter and sometimes they catch a lot of fish, sometimes they don't. Okay. Something dead and stinky. Some kind of fish carcass. Looks like a big old drum or something. Carp. That's dead. Floating. In the waves. Nice, huh? This is what I was looking for.
Might have some. Kind of nice, don't it? Steve, the gig master, showed up. And his buddy. The guy's pulling his net in. I got a hit here. Got a hit. My buddy Eddie, he just showed up. How you doing? <laughs> this is Gig's buddy here. I don't know who this is. How you doing? How are you? Must be a hell of a wreck on the bridge. Traffic's been backed up for three hours. Not a no movement at all. Tractor trailers, cars stopped. When I came back from that one knife delivery, it took me 15 minutes just to get home through the side streets. I don't know what happened, but it must have been bad. You can't see them, I know, but they're backed up as far as you can see on the tunnel. Belly button ring. I mean, belly button. Zippo. The best of it today. Zippo. Nine two five China. That's a bad sign. But when I got home, look what I had. Somebody dropped off five nice hinkles. To sharpen tomorrow. Pretty cool. That's it. I'm not sure about tomorrow. I got a, a couple hundred new things to do. Chris has got a bunch of, well, I'll show them to you. Some really fancy house vents. We got to put, we're going to try to put some of them in tomorrow. They're like automatic doodad things. I don't know how to explain it to you. Ultra CSV. She's painted them, primed them, primed them, and painted them. They had more things than you do to a Cadillac. But they're supposed to be the state of the art doodad thing. Look at that. Stainless steel wire. They've got a gathering of them. Hmm. I don't like those kind of things. However, <coughs> I'll see you tomorrow, one way or the other.